Hey guys, this is General Malice. I'm coming to you today to show you the difference between a pair of real Concord 11 Space Jams from 2011, uh, December 27th release. Um, in front of me I have a real pair of Concord 11s with a receipt from the store. And the other pair is not a real pair. They are very good fakes. I would say maybe even B, B grade, but as of right now, I'm going to show you why they are fakes. So coming up on the boxes, as you can see, one of these boxes is a fake, but you're not going to be able to tell yet until I tell you. So each one comes with their tags saying, you know, like everywhere else. Any good fake would have a tag. So off the bat, the very first thing I noticed, this is the real box of Jordans. If you look really closely, let's see. There is no, I don't know if it transpires over the video. See how sharp it is? Perfect. There is no distortion. Come over to this pair. I don't know if you can see it. There is a line. Hold on, let me grab a light. That'll be easier. All right, if you can look, it's got a, if you can see that extra glossiness, it doesn't fit properly. You can see the Z, the J, it's all mislabeled and moved down. Even the jump man doesn't look right. His feet, the purple and the glossy totally in different spots. I don't know if you can see that. See, you shouldn't be able to see that little plastic all the way out past. And you don't see enough plastic on the other side. The second key thing is, if you, I don't know if you can see it perfect because of the light. There we go. You see this reflection around the edge? That's an imprint for they sta stamped the box wrong. Where this side has no dimension, it is flush, perfect. There is no, there is no problems. You can see the jump man perfect compared to this jump man, where it's not perfect. Second of all, is the grooves on the box. If you listen carefully, if you look, you can see the raised indentions. The death. On this box, you don't really see any raised indentions. It's pretty flat. Even the stamping is wrong. You can see a white line on the side of the black that shouldn't be there. That shimmer on the side in between the two black lines should not be there. If you look here, it is right on the box here to the side of the box in between. Here's another distinctively look. If you look right here, Jumpman is flawless. If you look here, Jumpman, not flawless. <sighs> All right, guys, so let's go ahead and crack these shoes open.
First off the bat, the color of the shoes. See how dark that is? See how transparent? Give you another idea. A side by side comparison. And on my real ones, so you know that they're real. Here's the receipt from Foot Action. Dated. Shoes retail 180. All right, so for the first thing, I cracked my box lid. So don't make fun of me. If you look at the light, see how dark it is compared to the fakes. Who's super purple? It's extra see-through. Shouldn't be that see-through. Again, one more time. See how dark it is. So much more defined. Um, these fakes I'm sending back to the seller. I've purchased them off eBay. Um, if they don't come with the original receipt, guys, or you don't have an actual pair of power boards just to set side by side, it's going to be really hard to tell sometimes. Because they, I mean, guys, these are really good fakes. Um, we'll look at the, the paper first. And the pair of the two. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the paper itself, this paper is darker than that paper. You can definitely tell from the underside, the quality difference. I don't know if you can see it. This side's lighter, or darker than this side is lighter. And if you look on the undercarriage dot side by side, they're pretty close. It's a slight coloration difference. This one is lighter, and these are darker. So, and mine's two sheets of paper. So I think I ripped them. I'm not sure. No telling. Mm, no. Looks like it's supposed to be two. All right, guys. Here's another thing you'll notice on these real ones. There's the serial number right there all Jordans all Jordans have a serial number now if you don't have the box you can't really tell that because you don't have the box but if you look at these shoes over here the person who sold them he had them wrapped in saran wrap I don't know if they were thinking I wouldn't open them or what but if we were to inspect this box compared to this box. And I am wearing gloves, guys, because my shoes are dead stock. Um, I bought this second pair so I could wear a pair. And lo and behold, they weren't legit. So, so they got the boxes, size difference. This box is bigger in spots. Again, there's the serial number. I don't see one on that box on the same side. We'll look at the same boxes on the same side of each one. No serial number there. We'll look here again no serial numbers they do have the tray box marking but then if you look here the front the boxes again no serial number in any of this serial number no serial number so you might be asking me, Derek, how did you realize, how did you realize that these were fake? Well, I'm going to show you. 